Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. Um, so I got some new news, uh, everybody. Um, I know it's been, a, well, I think it's been it was only a couple of days when they were just talking about this, but um, uh, Henry Cavill has signed to come back as Superman for th uh, three picture deal, I think. Um, I'm, I'm going to put this link on the bottom if you guys want to check out the article, but um, that's good news because I'm, I, uh, I know a lot of people had mixed feelings about Henry Cavill playing Superman. Some people say he was too dry as Superman, like he was on BVS, and a lot of people are not fans of Man of Steel, but I'm a big fan of both those movies. I like Man of Steel and the ultimate cut of the um, BVS movie a lot more now than I did before because I guess because all this Snyder cut hype now. Um, but this is good news because um, I like I'm, it was like rumors back uh, a while ago, you know, within the years saying that he was back and forth, which I might have been true or not. Uh, Tell me he was going to come back and then leave and come back and leave. Um, and no, uh, Henry Cavill really is a good actor. I mean, we, we also saw, saw how he was in Mission Impossible. That was a really good movie. He did a good, good job playing the villain on there also. If you haven't seen that movie yet, sorry if I spoiled it, but it's obvious that he was one of the villains on there. But he did a great job on there, um, uh, especially that fight scene in the bathroom with him and... Um, him and uh, Tom Cruise, but I, that's another story. But um, this is good news. Like uh, same thing with Ben Affleck returning as Batman, which I really love Ben Affleck. I think he's my top. He's one of my favorite Batmans now, right now. Also, I really love Ben Affleck as Batman. I think he did an amazing job in BVS. Can't say the same for Justice League. It's a different story. Uh, we might help. My may be able to shine on in the Snyder Cut. We get the Batman we got from BVS. But this is really good. Um, we not, I'm, they haven't revealed what movies he's going to pop up. I'm, I'm hoping one of them will be the long-awaited sequel <laughs> to Man of Steel. I hope that's the case, but he could be a cameo. He could pop up in other movies like the Flash movie. He could pop up in the um, Flashpoint thing. It could be something like that. Uh, he could pop up on Shazam 2, maybe, or Aquaman or whatever other movies that's, they got planned on for the future. Um, so, But I'm hoping we get I'm really hoping it's a Man of Steel movies. I, I really, I mean, he could pop up on other movies, but I hope the three picture deals like the, like sequels to Man of Steel because I would love to see, um, uh, and then introduce uh, newer villains on it in the DCEU. Um, I'm not gonna get into. It. I'm just gonna be make this a short video. But the villains I would love to see in, in if if he's doing a Superman movie would be one would be Lobo. Uh, if you guys not familiar with the um animated series that was a really good two-parter um they had lobo it was voiced by brad garrett they had lobo introduced on there for two-parter um when him and lobo was together it was it was a really good it was a really good episode check that one out guys but um i'm not too familiar with lobo i know he's some kind of bounty hunter so i'm not gonna really get into the origins of it. i'm not really that familiar with comic book like that i just know about it from the animation but i like his character on the animated series but i wonder how they could do him i know he was in the krypton show if i'm not mistaken they had him on Krypton. I've never really... I've seen maybe a few episodes. It's, it's okay. Um, but he was on the Krypton show. But I'd like to see him in there. Um, that'd be one character I'd like to see if they do another Man of Steel. The next one would be Bizarro. Um, I know Bizarro is not the greatest villain, but he's like a... I think, if I'm not mistaken from my, what I know from the cartoon, I'm not sure if it's the same in the cart in the uh, comics, but... He's a um, clone. I think Lex Luthor cloned him, and it didn't. he didn't turn out right. So he was kind of like a dumb, uh, kind of like a deformed, disfigured-looking Superman with pale skin. Um, technically, I'd be interested character to see like a, like another Henry Cavill, like a zombie-ish version, like they did Solomon Grundy. That'd be kind of interesting character to see. I wouldn't mind seeing that um, character in if they do if they have another Man of Steel movie. Um, the next one would be Metallo, which to me. I wish they could have made the guy that was on BVS in the wheelchair. They could have made him a Metallo, but they killed him off. So I, that's the one thing about BVS I didn't like is what they did with his character. He could have been a, could have been a potential Metallo. Or, or like same thing with did with Mercy Grace. But that's a different story. They killed her off too. I didn't like it, but they did that either. But I, I really enjoy that movie for what it is now. But uh, Metallo would be a really interesting character. I really liked him in the anime series also. Uh, he is a he's a grudge against Superman. He, you know, he has the Krypton, the, crypt, the uh, Kryptonite in his um side his body in his metal body um i'm not that familiar i i, I haven't I, I haven't watched the anime series in a while but like i said before i'm a comic book idiot i don't know every i don't remember every origin um i know he was a man and some kind of way he transformed into that i think lex Luthor did that to him in the cartoon i think 
Um, I can't remember what he had, why he had a grudge against Superman. I, I don't, that I don't remember, but I liked his character. He was a great villain on the animated series, also. So and they, and they had a movie too of Metallo was. In. I think yeah, anyway, Metallo was also in the the Batman animated series when they had the little crossover one. When they had Superman. Um, they had a, they introduced the Justice League on the Batman. Also, I liked I like he's a really good, interesting villain. I would like to see him pop up if they have another Superman movie. And one of the major villains, this, this is my last but not least, but another major villain I've been waiting to see. I know they've had him on. I can't watch that show. I mean, I got I'm the guess I'm different. I, I'm not a big fan of Supergirl. I know he's been on there. He's a good guy. I think um, they had the movies with him and he was good in the movies. And I liked him in the anime series, which is Brainiac, one of Superman's biggest villains. Um. If I'm not mistaken, from the, I, I think from the, on the cartoon, like I said, another thing I know is different versions of Brainiac. I'm not that familiar with it, so guys, I'm just letting you know. Like I said before, I'm a comic book idiot. I don't know all these characters. I know it's about five versions of Brainiac. I think <laughs> I'm not too, like I said, I'm not familiar with Brainiac, but from what I saw in the cartoon, he's like a big villain. I think if I'm not mistaken, something I've seen years ago that Metallo had a hand in. I mean, not Metallo. Brainiac had a hand in destroying uh, Krypton. I don't know if that was some other animated movie I saw, but. I don't think it was animation. I think he had uh, the backstory. He had a hand in destroying Krypton or something like that. But I like his character too. I think he would have been a he would be a great villain in uh, Man of Steel. Um, that's why I was hoping maybe in Man of Steel two they can put. I don't know. I just would like to see him in if they have future uh, sequels to Man of Steel, which to me should have made years ago. I don't know why we haven't had a sequel to this yet, but hopefully they, they, they like I said, they know the Man of Steel movie. I'd like to see my uh, Brain Neck also as one of the characters on there. Um, also, this, this is a different, I'm not talking about villains anymore, but I want Jimmy Olsen. I would like to see Jimmy Olsen. I know we ha they had him as a spy on BVS. I hated that. Uh, he was a spy on BVS and he ended up, ended up, ends up getting killed. Um, I would like to see Jimmy Olsen do him, do him right. Just don't even count that Jimmy Olsen. That was, just make that another character. I would like to see that, uh, like a Jimmy Olsen character on there too, um, that we didn't get. Cause you know, come on, that's part of Superman. You gotta have Jimmy Olsen in there. Um, you got Lois Lane. You gotta have Jimmy Olsen. So I'd like to see Jimmy Olsen in this also in, in future movies. Um, I can't think of the top of the head what else I would like to see on the Man of Steel. That might be it for now. Like I said before, I can't think of nothing, anything else I'd like to see. We are they are, they've already done Doomsday, so we can't do Doomsday again unless they can some kind of way to write him back, and they can do the um, but they can't. They killed him off though. That see, that's what I'm talking about. DCEU was so backwards right now. They could have did Death of Superman's um, series. That would have been an interesting series to see live action. Excuse me. Because they had the animated movie. It was a two-parter, which was really good. Um, they had all the different versions of Supermans. They had Steel and all the other Supermans, the clones. Um, they said he could have did something with that, but they did it too early. And, you know, so you know how that goes. But that, that's the only thing I would like to see if they have another Man of Steel uh, sequel. Sequels, hopefully. Instead of him making cameo appearances on whoever's movies, but that's that's what that's just my thoughts. I'd like to see since he signed that deal. So guys, tell me what you think. Are you excited for this news? Uh, are you excited for this, um, Timmy Cowell come back? Are you are you fans of his Superman like I am? Um, leave in the comments below and tell me what you guys think. Uh, hope everybody's enjoying this Saturday morning. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you get everybody keeping safe and healthy. Uh, hit that subscribe button. I really would appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up. Notification bell whenever I post new videos, it should pop up. And I hope you guys enjoy. Have a nice and safe uh, Saturday. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.